Somehow, I'm working for the Manosphere. And, shit. Okay, there. Yeah, somehow I'm working for the Manosphere. And I just specifically was talking about how Kevin Samuels was a drag addict, ma'am. How? How? How am I working for the Manosphere? Try again. You could look at a list of these videos, actually, honestly. Look at this. I'm specifically saying here I'm not from the Manosphere. I'm divested here. Um, I'm talking about actually Cynthia G here and how I actually think that she does have a place. I just don't comprehend. I don't really understand her like that, you know. And then there's other ones, like this one specifically. This one here, actually, was a main one. I'm specifically showing okay, how I prefer men of other races, actually. Could be other than physical these men? As far as masculinity, no. Not at all. Let me explain. Look at these men. Look at his brow ridge. Very, very prominent. Very strong. His nose is very prominent, very strong, very sharp, very pointed. He basically has no brow ridge. Prominent jaw. Prominent chin. His forehead line, look at that. His hairline is very square. His forehead is very straight. There is nothing in his face that is feminine. Nothing. And he's a very hairy man, as you can see. He's exuding everything that is actually masculine. Now, let's use a black man as an example. This one. Look at him. Oh, childlike, brown, girly, feminine eyes. Does he even have a brow ridge? I don't even see one, honestly. No, his nose is soft and round, and very short and soft. His cheekbones are high, round, and very soft and feminine. His forehead line, his hairline is very round. Very round. Round forehead, of course. Um, and his chin is very round, not very prominent chin. His jaw, does he have one? Again. And where is his body hair? I can hardly see any body hair to speak of, and look at his brows in itself, very thin and sparse. Um, you see what I mean by masculinity? Dark skinned black men have no masculinity. You just use another one. Soft round nose, full lips, high cheekbones, almond shaped, round, big eyes, sparse forehead, sparse hairline, I mean sparse brows, sorry. Um, he's got no brow ridge to speak of. Um, his hairline is completely soft and round. It's not very square. Forehead is round, definitely round. He has no jawline. <laughs> and his chin is round. Everything about him is soft, round, and feminine. Very girly. And no body hair, really, to speak of. So, that's what I mean. That's how I am. I don't see them as masculine. Sorry. Now, this is, I guess, maybe not digging in. Let's show me digging in a bit. Okay? Want to see how I get down and how I actually tear apart? When it's called for, this guy was specifically attacking Divested Witch and calling Divested Witch a man. And this is how I went after him. So, I showed this to show you that why would you show photos of a person that scores a 9.32 if you, in your photo, only score 6? You really think someone who's a 9 wants a 6? I mean, we could just go back to mathematics, right? And then, you know, first off, I'm not... I don't even think you guys have penises. 
I don't. I think you guys have what looks like feces to me. This is why many people get AIDS when they are with men like you. And it's not even pleasurable because only a woman who's as big as a hallway can be satisfied by something that is big. If you are a virginal, pure, virtuous type of woman, you don't have that problem. You know, you don't need big things like that. That's not even really pleasurable to someone like that. Um, for me, I, didn't, I, I don't want big white men. That's what I'm trying to show you. So white men to me look normal, whether they're big, whether they're small, medium, but I know that a white man can't please me. Now, as far as a black man, obviously, I don't think you even have a penis. Your penis isn't a penis, it's just a load of feces that is attached to you, wasting away, that gives people diseases. I mean, there's a reason there's a high rate of AIDS with you guys. Now, maybe you could say that you're a trans man, and you really just have a pussy, because look at you. You could definitely be trans, you know, and you could definitely have a pussy. We don't know. It would be actually better if you had a pussy because, think of it this way, black women don't look as messed up as a black man does down there because no black woman has feces just hanging out in their pants as if it's a penis. They don't, you know. Even if a vagina is darker, it's not in the shape of feces. Your penis is in the shape of feces and in the color of feces. I've heard some people even say it smells like feces. Then what comes out of it is a disease waiting to kill you. Makes sense because if you think of it, who can have feces hanging around in their pants and it just be a thing that it will create longevity in their life. Get what I mean? Like, if you had feces literally attached to you, you would have more disease, more disease, more disease, and then die off. And it makes sense why you have disease in there that causes people to die, because if you think of women, women, their vaginas aren't made for feces to be plunged in and out of it. Okay, um, you're not even supposed to wipe yourself from back to front if you're a female because feces causes disease in a woman's, you know, vagina. So that's why, in my perspective, I don't see you guys as having a penis. I don't. I honestly don't. The first time I saw porn, I literally thought that it, it was feces going in and out of that man's butt, basically. It just happened to be a black man that was the top, basically. I generally watch gay porn. Um, but I, yeah, I just generally watch gay porn. But it was for the person who was bottoms white. I generally prefer bottoms, white bottoms, like Hispanic bottoms. Generally white bottoms more, actually. But, uh, but my point is, <laughs> um, I learned from that point on to make sure that in porn, even, that it's not a black man. Because it's not a turn on to watch someone get feces put up and down their ass. You know? And to me, when I think of a woman who engages in such, she's very dirty. Very dirty. Disgusting. And probably a disease. And I honestly think men who aren't black who touch her will get some of that disease too, you know. That's why it was always odd to me when people would be like, oh, you want black men or something like that, or you're jealous of someone who's with a black man. It, to me, it's weird because it's like, the way I see it is like, well, she works a whole different way than I do. She gets pleasure off of feces plunged in and out of her vagina. That's, what, that's how disgusting she is, you know. That's, that's disgusting. It is. There's, there's nothing 
else you can come up with that being. It's disgusting. And you can't tell me or convince me or explain how your penis and other people who are black, how they their black penises don't look like these. Because everybody knows that's exactly what it looks like. Everybody knows that a black man's penis looks like feces. There's nothing, it's not that I'm just trying to say, oh, your color is the color of feces. No, I'm saying it is feces. So please do not tell me about anything about your feces looking penis. I mean, nobody wants that. I think, honestly, people try to ignore the fact that it looks like feces. I mean, maybe some people are programmed mentally to think that um, black men are animalistic and they have a bestial desire, and so then that's why they're interested in black men. And this applies to black women and white women, for that matter, that do that. You know, but usually the pleasure and the desire for a black man is in, under the guise of degrading the black man. And that's one thing I don't like. I don't like to degrade you guys as humans. You have to understand, at the end of the day, I share the same race as you guys. But when we talk about your sexual function, you have none. You have none. That's just my perspective. There's nothing attractive about you. You look like a woman. I've already detailed how trans men, whether a man is trans or not, if he's black, they look the same. So you look like someone who has a pussy, okay? You look like someone who has a vagina. You look like someone who has a period. That's what you look like. And all black men look like that. So if you guys try to claim masculinity and you try to call black women masculine or whatever, and it just backfires in your dumbass's face because when we look at trans men, they're your carbon copy. This is why if we weren't even talking about that part of you that looks like feces, you're not attractive as a human being because you look like a female. So that's why I'm just pointing that out there. As far as, you know, I wanted to also point out, oh, sorry. I wanted to point out the whole thing about level of attractiveness outside of the whole idea of what I see and what I think, because we all know I don't prefer black men. I'm just saying, beauty is mathematic. Yeah, look at your face. It's a six. Look at my face. It's a near nine, no makeup on at all. Just woke up. So, yeah. And with makeup on and wig and all that stuff, um, it's 9.32. Now, you're trying to get some stuff that's trying to do that's not a piece of stupid as well. I mean, like, how are you going to. Yeah, I think the audio went out. see my natural hair type and its texture on TikTok, so don't you even try to pretend with me that this is somehow my natural hair type, or this is my natural phenotype, especially when we talk about makeup and things of that nature. Now, if you want to attack me for my brows, I literally drew my own brows in my face. So how can you attack people for something they drew on their own face? See, outside of being ugly, outside of being a black man who nobody wants, who's completely feminine and unattractive to most females of any race, outside of all that, you have fucked your brain up. Let's just be honest. You can't even say one sentence properly. You can't even say, you can't even articulate yourself properly. You slur your words like you're high. I mean, that's not a part of being black, you know. Africans don't do this. You do this because white people fucked you up in slavery, and your granddad, who was white, like all, you know, black Americans, many black Americans have like a white grandparent, 
they told you you were fucked up, you know, they told you all these bad things about black people, and so then you make it your lifestyle, and you think it's a part of being black because some racist white ancestor told your family that, degraded your family like that, and you wear it like it's a freaking disease that you can't cure from yourself because some racist white person basically devalued you as a human being. So that's all I have to say on that, you know. Um, I just kind of feel like, you know, this whole thing, like, you don't have to make yourself out to be like this, you know. You could actually try and do better for yourself, but yeah, I'm going to be done. Thanks for watching. Like and See, that's the way I degrade, basically. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I degrade, basically. And I think, honestly, that's a major issue that you have because you feel you can't do that. Two reasons. Because you find the black man too attractive. And two, you don't see yourself in your own self-worth, your own attractiveness as above theirs, basically. Also, I work from a certain perspective of, well... In life, I've experienced where dark-skinned black men act like they're less than, for one. So that's why I do have an uppity sense of like, well, you beneath, you're beneath me a bit, you know, because they, that's how they act. I mean, I don't mind putting a black man who's dark-skinned down. Because, I mean, like, honestly, if he's going to put himself in that level, why not put him down there? I mean, it's nothing wrong with doing that, you know. Um... So that's why, for me, that's how I crap on black men. It's not like, you know, I'm asking anything of them. I'm not that type. A lot of you guys expect that. You expect a Cynthia G who's whining, crying, and begging black men for attention, black men for uh, being good fathers, good husbands, good men, so she can choose one. I don't want one. If I don't want one, I'm not going to look to them like that. And I'm not going to talk to them like that, you know. I'm not going to cry about them. I'm just going to put them down and be like, this is who you are to me. And that's how I see you. I did other videos too. And I put specifically a lot of videos comparing trans men to black men. Showing people how these people look one in the same. You can't tell a black trans man from a black man. Those things look exactly the same because black men look like women, which was what I already said from the beginning. Black men look like women. I know it's hard for you guys to digest, but it is what it is, you know? But yeah, you saying I work for the black mantle sphere, sweetie, you should actually pay attention to my content. I've always said the same dang thing since the beginning of time.